local company is also changing the way they do business to meet the demands for full personal protective equipment. On your side, Heather Crawford has more on this live from her living room tonight. Heather, thank you for joining us. Anthony, first time in my 20 year career I have ever broadcast from my living room. But hey, this is the new reality for so many of us working remotely, working from home to try and stop the spread of this nasty coronavirus. Now, today I talked to the CEO of this company that last week was making sports uniforms, but this week the company Fits, Fit USA Manufacturing is making gowns and masks for those on the front lines of this pandemic. And instead of laying off employees, his company is actually hiring, trying to bring more people on board so that they can make this PPE gear 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Practically overnight, Troy Olson's company, Fit USA Manufacturing, went from making sports uniforms to making personal protective equipment in its 15,000 square foot factory in Ormond Beach, about 80 miles south of Jacksonville. We're just trying to help everybody. You know, we're getting on phone calls and I'm talking with hospitals that have staff right now that have no mask, no mask whatsoever. And they're walking to that hospital handling patients with no mask. And it's, it's just, we, we've got to get so fast. We've got to get ramped up. Um, we're just working through on how we get our third, our second shift going, third shift going. In the past week, his company, working with private hospitals, has created masks for nurses and doctors to put on patients and ones to use themselves. Today, we just, we just passed a, a droplet test with Halifax Health. And I wouldn't even know what a droplet test was a few days ago. And over the weekend, designed a gown to help protect workers at drive through coronavirus testing sites. We're already shipping orders. Uh, let's see, as of last Friday, we had 25,000 masks, face masks made and shipped out of here. His goal is to make a million masks a week to get to those who need it the most. This is what's, you know, amazing about our country. When we run into something like this, we all kind of join forces and we work through it. We sure do. And his company right now is seeking FDA approval for its tri-layer medical mask. But that PPE uh, gear that he mentioned is available on his company's website right now. And if you're interested in applying for a job uh, to manufacture for his company, I've linked all the information to this story. Just head to firstcoastnews.com. Live tonight from my house, Heather Crawford, First Coast News on your side. Good